I am here with Jimmy Jackson of Young's MMA, who picked up a huge round one finish via rear naked choke here at NEF 39 tonight. Jimmy, as I was coming back here, Carlton Charles grabbed me and he said, hey, you do not let Jimmy Jackson get your back. And you, uh, you really did a phenomenal job in, the, in there tonight. First off, congratulations, Thank my you. friend. Thank you. Um, what was the game plan going in here? I know you said to me before that this guy had a little bit of range. You're not used to fighting guys with a longer reach than you. Right. So what was your game plan? Uh, honestly, my game plan was to go in there and like Coach always says, to go in there and have fun and just uh, figure out what you need to do as you go. Uh, especially like an O&O guy like this because we, we didn't know anything about him. So uh, my game plan, honestly, was to come out there, circle out as soon as possible, see what kind of stance he had, see what kind of movement he was going to have, and, you know, go from there. <laughs> yeah. We talked a little bit uh, before the fight started, and you were saying that you were having some nerves. It's been uh, oh, a man, couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you've done yeah. very well in the yeah. past, but again, uh, it's right. been a couple of years since you stepped inside the cage. Right. Uh, how does it feel now to step back into the cage after such a long absence? Uh, it was nerve-wracking, honestly. Like I, I was like my nerves were probably getting the best of me a lot. But like my whole time, I got to remember that I, I train with absolute beasts. I mean, I've been training with Glory Watson a lot. I train with Josh Harvey, the Ryan's, the Aaron's. I was like, you can't put someone in front of me in that cage that is tougher than the guys I train with. So like I just got to keep that in my mind from now on. I was like, I just got to keep remembering that man. I got a solid, solid place behind me, and I forget that sometimes. I got to stop doing that. <laughs> So how uh, healthy are you feeling now that the fight's over? I know you were limping a little bit. Oh, I feel great. He nailed me with a kick or something right in this hip. You know, my old man hips, they're, they're failing a little bit right now. But, I mean, I'm sure that'll wear off in a couple of days. <laughs> so does this make you uh, even more eager to get back into the NEF cage here soon? Maybe September in order? Definitely, Orlando? definitely. I don't want to stop here. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I want to keep going. I want to get back in there. Yeah, they got someone else for the night. I'll get back in there again. I'll, I'll, I'll ice this hip a little bit. <laughs> so September, Orono, that's the next NEF card. Is I that love something? I'd love to be on that card. That is, uh, that is very close to my hometown. I mean, I live in Corinth, but I, I work and I've been around Bangor for a long, long time. So to, I haven't been able to fight on one of those cards yet. So that's always been like a huge, huge goal for me, I guess you'd say, is I really want to fight there. A lot of my family that can't travel to come see me will be able to see me there. And like, I can't wait. I, I hope they find me an opponent for that card. Well, I know for myself, I cannot wait to see you back in the cage. Again, congratulations on your, your win tonight. And uh, one last question. Uh, I know Rafael Velado, that championship fight, you know, that was a while ago. It didn't really go your way, but I know how much winning that belt uh, would have meant to you. Is that something that we can potentially see down the line? Maybe that rematch or at least uh, a shot at a belt? Is that is that a goal that you're you know, looking I to? I always take it as it comes to me. I mean, it was always cool to fight for a title. Um, that fight against Velado was a huge learning experience for me. Like I, I stopped right after that and I focused on jiu-jitsu a lot because I mean honestly I went against the jiu-jitsu black belt and lost and I felt like that's what I needed to work on and as you can see I've been working on my jits a lot and like if it comes to me, I will take it. <laughs> if it doesn't, it just wasn't for me. But yeah, I take them as they come. <laughs> well, I'll do whatever Coach Chris Young tells me to do. <laughs> Again, congrats on the win, my friend. Yeah. Jimmy Jackson of Young's MMA gets the job done. Round one, RNC. I'm here with Mike Murray of First Class MMA. And this was your debut fight. Uh, very impressive performance, my man. Rear naked choke. How happy uh, are you with your performance? I'm excited. I mean, it's just like, I mean, I wasn't really planning on losing. So, I mean, it's kind of like I knew I was going to win, you know? What was your game plan heading into this fight? I want to start off with a couple kicks, keep uh, the, the distance, set the pace and you know, the speed. And then that's exactly what I did. But he wanted to take it to the ground. And I'm more proficient at the ground, obviously. Uh, and again, a very, very impressive performance. How long have you been training MMA? Uh, Jiu-Jitsu, it's been four or five years now. I uh, did Judo before that, and then uh, Muay Thai and Jiu-Jitsu together, just about the past year and a half. And so uh, do you have uh, aspirations of following in the footsteps of uh, one Nick Gully, who I know is a close yeah. training partner in front of you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yes I do. So one and know now uh, in your amateur career, when do you expect to step back in the cage? The next NEF fight is going to be in Orono, uh, Maine, obviously, in September. Do you plan on making the trip up north to, to fight on that card? Uh, it kind of all happens based on how the military lets me do that. I'm in the Marine Corps right now, so if they let me do it, we'll see. I'm going to take this win, go celebrate, and then uh, we'll see how that goes. And then talk to the military and let me see if they let me. Very cool. How are you going to celebrate? Uh, <laughs> 
We'll see. I don't know yet. <laughs> We're going to go out and party. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, very, very uh, well-deserved, my friend. Again, congrats on the victory. Uh, we look forward to seeing you back in the cage soon. Thank you. I'm here with the Guardian, Nick Gulliver of First Class MMA. It's a good night for you, my friend. Uh, your protege, Mike Murray, got a round one rear naked choke. Uh, you've been very high on him. You've been talking uh, yeah, him up he's, all week long. He's so. legit. So what, what's really cool uh, is I fought uh, with my dad in the same arena in June uh, of 2015, uh, and, and Mike got to fight with his dad in his corner, the same, the same arena, the Lewis and Colisei, the same month in June, and rear naked choke. My fight was a rear naked choke as well. Kid's kind of copying me a little bit here, but hey, it's cool. He's a Marine, he's a great guy, uh, and you're gonna see him back, and that's why I said watch him. He's, he's very good. Uh, he fights for uh, the Foundry, uh, and then what's the other gym? Kid in combat. Yeah, in combat. Okay, right, so Eddie. so first class. Uh, I was yeah, off there. Yeah, that's yeah, right. a little bit, but yeah. he decided so to correct that. <laughs> no, that's you know, give him a shot up, but he, he's a great kid, and you're gonna definitely see him back. He's he's uh, he, we call him GQ a little bit. Okay, he, he's he's kind of a pretty boy. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna slap the prettiness off him a little bit. Next time he'll look a little rougher when he gets out okay. there, so he'll be good to go. So overall, you were very happy with his performance. Yeah, he could have done a little better. <laughs> yeah, he he could have done a little better. No, he did awesome. He did great. He did great. He did great. Very good. Well, it's always good to see you, my friend. Uh, thank you for coming in, and uh, we'll see you back in the cage or something. Love you, Mom. Right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, definitely. I'm here with Megan Rosado, who had a very impressive win tonight, round one TKO. Yes. And I got to tell you, one of the more impressive uh, victories that I saw this evening on a night full of finishes. So, all in all, uh, how do you gauge your performance? Man, I felt good. I felt good in that cage. Uh, I felt like I trained hard enough for it and I felt like I deserved it and and you know I, it shocked me I, I felt like I moved really good and my footwork was really good and I was moving my head mm -hmm. which I don't think I did quite in my other fights so that's I know I got to see you when you fought Glory Watson, and she raved about you, about how tough of an opponent you are. Yeah. It, it, does this give you a little bit of validation to get back in there and get a get a you know a very important win after losing a fight against another tough opponent against Glory? Definitely. Like uh, I looked on Tapology or whatever, and everyone was predicting that I win by decision, and I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that again. So I made it my goal to either KO or TKO today, and I made it happen. So it was pretty awesome. What was this camp like for you? Was it any different than, than any previous camps, or is it just business as usual? Um, it was a little bit different because I kind of like put myself into it too, where I would um, ask people to train with me more than my actual training. So I I made my own work as well as the work that I was already doing, so. Well, it paid off. Uh, again, a very impressive victory here for yourself. The next NEF card is going to be up in Orono in September. Is that something that uh, fans and everyone can expect to see you in there? I'm actually not going to that one, but um, we will probably be at the one in the Oro when they come back. Very cool. Well, again, congrats on the victory. Megan Rosado, a winner tonight, round one TKO. I'm here with Nate Boucher, big time victory, another rear naked choke, my man. Congrats. Thank you. Uh, obviously, you just keep on trucking along, like you said. Uh, how pleased were you with this victory here tonight? I was obviously pretty happy. Whenever you finish a fight in the first round, there's a certain sense of pride you carry with that, you know? Uh, it makes me feel pretty accomplished. Sucks it wasn't for the belt, but you know, uh, obviously a win opens more doors than closes them. So no doubt. Talk a little bit about that. I, I know you're disappointed it wasn't for the belt. Both you and your opponent uh, didn't make weight. Is there a reason for that, or is this just something that you know, uh, unfortunately? Yeah, I had a lot going on. I think in my personal life, um, maybe I, I started my final weight cut one day too late. Mm. Um, 125 is a weight class that I can make. I made it twice before. Um, it was just a, it was a lack of discipline on the uh, the final weight cut and uh, you know as an amateur it's a hard lesson to learn sometimes but it's a lesson that's to be learned for sure um, I'm not saying that I won't go back to 125 but um, you know a little bit more discipline the next time have you had a chance to talk to Matt Peters and I know, I know the fights just ended but yeah. is there a chance that you're going to be fighting for that title here uh, maybe your next fight yeah you know um, I definitely can only move up from here so what what's what's next what 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 tops uh, headlining an, an amazingly stacked card like tonight 
Um, you know, I just fought probably 25 minutes ago, so it's tough to say exactly what's next. But, uh, you know, it's, it's got to be something bigger, get me more ready and prepared to become a pro. Well, again, third win in a row. Uh, again, against a tough opponent, submission. Congrats, my friend. Yeah. We look forward to seeing you back in there soon. Absolutely. I, I appreciate it. Absolutely. I am here with the new 125 pound women's champion for the New England Fights promotion, Glory Watson. Very impressive, uh, impressive performance. I mean, you were in a dog fight. Carrie Hill really came to, to bang tonight, and it was back and forth. It was, a, it was a grind of a fight. I mean, overall, how uh, impressed are you with her as an opponent and then your uh, performance in, in itself? Uh, she was an incredible opponent. She was great. She was so awesome to have. Um, super privileged that she made the trip out. Really hard to find opponents, so it's nice to find someone that will step up. And sure. Especially come out of their, even close to their home to do it. Uh, she was stronger physically than I really expected. Um, I've gone up against Megan Zrato, who I fought at 140, and she was just as strong, if not stronger, than Megan, and I wasn't expecting it at all. Um, I wasn't in it 100% mentally. Um, kind of had to fight through that at the beginning, um, kind of listening to coach in between rounds, tell you a million things, but there's one thing that's going to stick and something stuck and it kind of switched, flipped a switch and I turned it on a little bit more in the last couple rounds. She made it a point to press you up against the cage the first couple of rounds, but you seemed comfortable to be there. What, was that, did you have something uh, like a game plan where you were trying to, you know, make her ga gas herself out potentially? Or what, were your, what was your thought process? Uh, we had no game plan at all. She got me there and in my head, I, she got me there and I would just look at coach. I don't know where my head was. I just, but my body wasn't listening to my head and I couldn't get my body to move the way I wanted it to. I couldn't get my head to pull the trigger. I couldn't pull the trigger on a lot of things, and it, it showed in my first few rounds. Yeah, Coach Young said that you, you were a little out of sorts today. You weren't really yourself. Is there a reason for that? Uh, no, I struggled with anxiety and depression since I was a teenager. Um, so it's kind of something that have, good days have bad days, and yesterday and today were bad days. Out to dinner last night, I kind of had an anxiety attack, and I was crying at the table, just feeling overwhelmed. and. I had a similar thing happen today when I was alone, just dealing with anxiety and depression, especially in a sport that's so mental, is very, very hard. How do you normally try and uh, you know take care of that if you have an attack or right before the biggest fight of your life? Is, is there something that you can kind of do to, to de-escalate yourself? Uh, I like to listen to like piano and violin music, something that I can listen to kind of attempt to match my heart rate to mm -hmm. in a weird way. I always have, it's just kind of my thing. Depending on what I'm listening to for music, changes how I feel towards a fight. I listen to something, I listened to piano when he first got here to calm me down, went a little bit heavier, went a little bit heavier, and then towards the end, was it into some <laughs> metal stuff that people probably don't want to know about. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the job done, you got the win. I'm not sure how I had that fight scored going into the fifth round. It really could have been anyone's fight, it was very, very close. Coach Young, he was he was barking saying that you need to get a finish. Did you feel you needed to get a finish to win this fight and get the belt? Yes, I did. So were you surprised that, that you, you won the fight, or did you still expect it to get your hand raised? Uh, I, regardless, when I walk into a fight, when I walk out of the cage, I never feel like I should expect anything. That's the name of the game in this sport. Anyone can get caught. Anyone can get clipped. Everything happens. Um, I thought if Kari won, it was well-deserved. She deserved that. She fought hard. She trained her ass off for this. And then I still feel like I trained hard, and if it had gone to me, which it did, I'm very thankful for that. If, if Matt Peterson decides to bring her back for a rematch, is that something you'd be open to? That's up to coach, but more than likely, I think we mm -hmm. would. Yeah, that really was fight of the night, uh, in my opinion, uh, an absolute war. Is it safe to say this was your toughest fight to date? Uh, I would say yes. Um, I actually was speaking with someone else in an interview and said that she fights very similar to the way I fight. Never had to fight myself. This is the closest I've come to have, having to fight myself. I don't think I really like it. <laughs> I don't like my style. I'm not a fan. Right. Well, so, I mean, if you're fighting you, I, I, I gotta imagine it's gonna be a very uh, difficult thing to do. Which, so Yeah, I think that's why I was so close to like, what am I doing when I do? <laughs> Again, congrats on the victory. Are we going to see you uh, in Orono in September? I'm hoping so. See if we can find an opponent.
Lori Watson, the new NEF 125-pound champion out of Young's MMA. Congrats. Thank you. I am here with Coach Young of Young's MMA. Both of his fighters, Jimmy Jackson and Glory Watson, both took home Ws tonight. Let's start with Jimmy's fight, Chris. Uh, he looked great, and I know uh, he had some nerves coming in, being uh, you know two years uh, you know outside of uh, the cage. How impressed were you with his performance? I was impressed. I mean, it, we took that fight on pretty short notice. Um, Jimmy kind of just jumped right into a camp. Um, you know, weight was an issue. He, he had to kill himself to make the weight. Um, so I was super happy with the performance, and honestly, it could have happened to a better guy because Jimmy is an amazing guy. So I'm glad that he got the win. No doubt about it. I, I mentioned to him earlier, I spoke to Carlton Charles. Uh, he grabbed me on the way out and said, one thing you never let happen is let Jimmy Jackson get your back. Yeah. Did you know when Jimmy got the back that, that a finish was inevitable? Yeah, I looked at Levi and said, it's over. I was like, it's done. And because uh, either he was going to flatten him out and punish him or he was going to choke him. So I was confident that uh, once he secured that back, it was, it was done. So I was, I was good. Well, I, I agree with you saying that you know, he's one of the nicest guys you can meet. Very happy to see Jimmy get back in the cage and get a W. Do you expect him to be fighting on the next card up in Orono and stuff? Uh, we'll see. Um, you know, he has voiced some interest. You know, we could actually do a full camp and get him ready for it. So I'm hoping he does. Um, I think now that he's got the nerves of getting to fight, you know, get back in there after you know such a huge yeah. hiatus, I think uh, he's going to be called to him. We'll see him in September for sure. Nice. Okay, Glory Watson, the title fight with Kerry Hill. Wow. I mean, what a fight. I, I really got to go back and watch the film uh, to, to score it again. I had Glory down two rounds to one after three, so I'm not quite sure how rounds four and five were scored, but I mean, it was a razor close fight. What were your thoughts going into that last round? Did you think Glory needed a finish? Yeah, no, I told her. Uh, the, the big problem is, is that you never know what the judges are going to be judging. You know what I mean? And sometimes they have a tendency to lean towards the more definitive stuff, the easy stuff, which if you look at it that way, Carrie definitely controlled against the cage more often. But Glory did all the damage. Glory got the two takedowns of the fight, one of which drove Carrie's head right into the mat, and she was on Silly Street at the end of the, the, that round. Uh, Glory was trying to finish the fight. She was putting combinations together. She was doing damage. So it just was going to come down to what are they looking at? Are they looking at cage control, or are they looking at damage? I think Glory won the damage, but that doesn't mean anything because I'm not a judge. So going into that last round, I was like, we need to leave it all out there because I don't know what the judges are looking at, uh, and I felt like we needed to finish. It, no, no matter how you shake it, it was probably the fight of the night, uh, at least so far. It, were you disappointed in Glory's performance at all? Like, Did you expect her to come in and look a little bit more dominant, or is it just? can you just uh, attribute this to having a very tough opponent in Kerry Hill? Oh, tough opponent. Um, Kerry is, is legit out of a legit school um, or a gym and, and very, very tough. Uh, we knew going in, you know, when I was watching the footage, and this is what I wanted, and I told Matt, I was like, listen, I'm not going to say no to anybody. I'm not going to say I don't care who they are. You give her a fight, and uh, I'm, I'm taking it. So it, it, you just need to get the fight. Uh, and I was really happy when you locked down Kerry because it's it was going to be a tough fight, and that's what we look for. You know, we've had this discussion numerous times. Uh, we want experience. So we want as much cage time in there. We want to be put in bad positions. Um, one thing for sure, coming away from this fight, I gotta go back and watch it again. So, you know, I'm not emotional about it because sometimes you, you forget things. Uh, but um, I'm thinking this is another clear indication that 115 is probably in the future. Um, it was something we've been talking about and we've been slowly working her towards. So I think that's probably where you're gonna see her. It's probably heading down 115. Wow. So, well, that's, that's a very interesting uh, bit of uh, news to, to talk about. No matter how you shake it, Glory Watson, 5-0 now in the new New England fights, 125-pound champion. Do you expect to see her in, uh, in uh, um, excuse me, September in Orono? If all goes to play, she'll be there in September. Okay. Very good. Coach Young, his fighters 2-0 tonight. Congrats. Thank you. Awesome.